Hey everybody, Dino here, and welcome to my world, the world of technology. Today we're going to discuss how to turn on inline images in Outlook. Now, you've probably seen an email like this one right here, let me click on it, where the images aren't loaded. Most of these are, are emails that are advertising or from mailing lists that you might get informational emails. They're not the majority of the emails you get from, you know, the average user or the average person that you might be emailing back and forth in the day. Still, you probably want to see these images. So the easiest way to do it is to go up here and it says up here, click here to download pictures. To help protect your privacy, Outlook prevented automatic download of some pictures in this message. What Outlook does is by default, for security reasons, it will not download images. And the reason for this is if you get an email from a hacker, the hacker will uh, sometimes load an image or put a link to load an image in that actually runs some malicious code. So by default, Outlook turns these images off. Now, that's actually kind of a good feature because it kind of protects you from accidentally opening something that might have some bad code in it. On the other hand, your antivirus should also protect you against uh, loading an, an image that has a malicious script in it. So... Uh, you may want to turn inline images on, or you may want to turn them on under certain circumstances. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go click here where it says to download pictures and download pictures. And it actually downloads the pictures on uh, this uh, particular email. Now let's go to another email here. Now we have a choice right here. If we click here, we can... Change automatic download settings. Uh, we can download the picture. We can add sender to safe senders list. And we can add the domain to uh, safe senders list. Now, the safest thing to do is just download the images when you want to see them. But for obvious reasons, sometimes this may get annoying if there are certain emails you always need to see the pictures from, or you want to see the pictures from, and you have to do this every time, it can get a little old. So what you could do in that case is you could add the sender to the list of uh, safe senders. Uh, that would be the one that I would recommend most of the time because it would be a specific sender, and it's less likely that a hacker could utilize that. Now, if it's a very common address that you're getting sent from, like millions of people get sent from this address, there are ways they can spoof that. But once again, your antivirus should help you on that. But to be the safest, you always want the kind of tightest security settings. So if you really don't have to have a particular thing downloaded all the time, I would just download it manually. The other thing you can do is you can do it from a particular domain, like at Microsoft.com, or in this case, it's at e.microsoft.com. Once again, if it's a really popular domain, a hacker could uh, kind of spoof that uh, return address or use that domain in a fake return address and uh, get your Outlook to load that. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend that one, unless it's a domain that's, you know, not as likely. Even your own work domain, a hacker can write a script to figure out what your work domain is. So they're sending it to, uh, say, your email at yourcompany.com. They could actually use yourcompany.com, whatever that is, and use that in a script to try to uh, load the image. So. It's less safe, and so I just want you to be aware it is less safe. But it is more convenient, definitely. 
But like I said, if you have a good antivirus software, it should be looking for such problems as well, and it would probably stop a malicious script in most cases. Uh, the good thing about having the images off is if your antivirus hasn't updated yet or they haven't come out with a new definition file that protects against a particular uh, exploit, then you're a little more safer. You can still open the email and tell it to load it. And if it's a malicious email, you've loaded the uh, images yourself anyway, so you need the antivirus to protect you in that case anyway. So the last thing you can do is go to Change Automatic Download Settings. This brings up your Trust Center and goes to the Automatic Download section of it. By default, this top thing clicked off here uh, says don't download pictures automatically in HTML email messages or RSS items. And you can actually go through here and you could pick particular things that fall under this category to allow. Uh, or you could take them all off. So if you wanted, by default, any email coming in with an inline image to display the inline image, you can take this off. But I don't recommend that uh, because, as I said, it puts you at a little bit more risk. If you do have an antivirus program, it should protect against the same things that this particular feature is. Okay, let's close this out. And... There's another way to get to that screen, and I just want to show you that real quick. You can go over here to File, and you can go to Options, and it will bring up Outlook Options, and down here is Trust Center. If you click on Trust Center, and go to Trust Center Settings, and click here on the Automatic Download, it will bring up the same screen, so you could turn it off entirely if you wanted to, which I do not necessarily recommend. So that is the way you can turn on inline images in Outlook in various ways. I'm Dino, and thank you for joining me in my world, and I will see you next time.